Good morning. It's Friday, March 3rd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Made Right, and our scriptures, Romans, chapter 3, where Paul, the apostle, writes, We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, in His grace, freely makes us right in His sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when He freed us from the penalty for our sins. For God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. For he was looking ahead and including them in what he would do in this present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness, for he himself is fair and just, and he makes sinners right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. In many dramas, you'll hear a character resolutely say, I'm going to make things right. He or she lied or stole something or in some way offended another person. The statement is the desire to undo the wrong, to make it right again. This is the essence of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the making right of all the wrong that's ever been done via the cross. I'm aware there are still five weeks left until Good Friday, but that is a part of Lent, looking ahead to the good news of forgiveness, being made right with God. And making things right begins and ends with God's love. Paul's letter to the believers in Rome puts a bow on this concept. He explains the cross in God's heart in nine sentences, 158 words. Modern preachers could learn that lesson. Ooh, ouch, just stepped on my own toes there. It's amazing to entertain that God's long-suffering put up with sins in ancient times, looking forward to the forgiveness he would make possible on the cross. That should alert us to how gracious God is, because that means he was also looking forward to our days in the 21st century. He knew we would need forgiveness to be made right with him. In fact, you were on God's mind before day one of creation. Some years, the anticipation of Lent just about overwhelms me. I want to rush to Good Friday, get the suffering and pain and blood in the past, and sit vigil-like by the empty tomb until the Easter dawn so I can shout with the angels. But with these thoughts of God's forgiveness worked out for time past, present, and future, there's a calmness to my joy, knowing that I have been made right with He who knows me best and loves me most. For you today. There is and has been only one caveat to being made right with God, and that is the leap of faith to believe Jesus died so you could be forgiven. He took the punishment for your sins. Paul said it clearly in his letter to the Roman believers. Hear those words again. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness, for he himself is fair and just, and he makes sinners right in his sight, when they believe in Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.